<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for is finally here. The top 16 finalists are making it down to the house. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see them. The next item is in four. You are watching the next Titan season four. I am Tomike Alayonde, your host, and as usual, this is Nigeria's number one entrepreneurial reality TV competition where we get to follow the lives of several contestants battle for the grand prize of five million naira and a brand new car. Well, today is going to be hotter on the show compared to last week's show because the contestants will be given tasks. And after they are given their task, you know, they will get to carry it out. And after which they will make their presentation at the boardroom to the judges. And four contestants will be placed on probation at the end of today's episode. My expectation for you at the end of the day is that I want to die. I want to be daunted and awed by your work. I want to be inspired by what I hear. And at the end of the day, I want to be elated that you can actually bring something to life. So, kill me. Let me die. The next item, season four. Big thinking for big impact. Proudly brought to you by Heritage Bank in association with Sithok School. Official supporting sponsors. Um, um, I didn't like your name at all, clearly. Um, your tagline was even worse. Impactful and resourceful for a car wash. I didn't understand that. Now, you were mentioning this issue about the stigma with ladies and all that. And that's the place that makes sense, business sense for women who wash cars, right? And you were trying to break that. But there's a reality in Nigeria, it's a cultural reality. And people must have been telling you you're doing well and still telling you all those nice things just for telling you sick. The reality is that most people will not be comfortable to let you wash their cars. A woman will not, and a man most likely will not. When I went through the reports, the first thing that I was absolutely disappointed in was your report. And I didn't understand why. We found out through one of the um, clips that was clear that there was a fight in the house, that you guys fought bitterly amongst yourselves only two days. And that began to explain this report. Mm -hmm. So what was that fight about? Because that kind of made sense to me that your report could only be as bad as it was because you were not together. There was no harmony. So what happened? The next item, season four. Big thing in the big event. Priska and Eruma. Who is Priska? And Priska. Priska. Yeah, yes. I think I don't have any problem with Eruma. Mm -hmm. I, I don't even know how we really would come. Mm -hmm. like, I don't know how, there was no issue between me and her. Everyone was talking in the box at the same time. Mm -hmm. I only said something. I think I was trying to calm everyone down. She just attacked him. And the next thing I asked her was, why did you like attacking me? And she cleared it. I kept quiet. Hmm. My leader stepped out. She said the reason she's not going to listen to me was because I went to school. Okay, we now come to the part, with ladies, where the losing side has to nominate four of the weakest links. Chiamaka, Timitayo, Nike, and Ewoma. They are up for probation. 